Magical Beans, it's Silver. I recently got some glasses. You may see me with them from now on in videos. I'm nearsighted, so I can't see very far away. Hopefully you guys will get used to seeing me with and without glasses. It'll probably change in every video. But today's video is going to be a bookshelf tour. This was requested by Antonella16. At first I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to do this video because I am moving in a week. My fiance and I got an apartment because we are getting ready to get married. So I was afraid that I wasn't going to have a bookshelf to tour with you guys because it was going to be all packed but it wasn't packed yet so I figured while I went over all my books and my bookshelves I could pack and while I pack I could go over my books. So without further ado let's get started on my bookshelf tour. Okay so the first sort of shelf on my bookshelf is actually the very top. It is all of my Kami Sama Kiss mangas. They are in my top five favorite mangas. So I gave them their own special shelf just because they are one of my favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. Um, I am kind of short, so this may end badly. <laughs> Hold on. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna start. <gasps> oh, <God. laughs> um, I'm gonna have to take them down stacks by stacks. Otherwise, it's all going to collapse, so I'll be right back. Alright, so the next shelves on my bookshelves, I kind of did in a pattern because I have both books and mangas, and I wanted to keep those on separate shelves, so I did a pattern of books, books, mangas, the last of my books, and then another manga shelf. So the first one are books. I organize all of my books by author, last name, in alphabetical order. I don't have, you know, a rainbow bookshelf or any that are really displayed differently. A lot of my books are paranormal romance and fantasy because that's pretty much what I read. I don't really stray to anything outside of those genres. So I have a lot of angel books and on this particular shelf I have my favorite series of all time by my favorite author Amy Bartle. It is the Premonition series which is about angels and there are some other creatures in mentioned in these series. These are some of my favorite books and I highly recommend them and Amy Bartle. I just recently started her other series which is a sci-fi series which I have never read before. That was my very first sort of sci-fi series and I am really enjoying it as well. So go ahead and check out Amy Bartle and I will go ahead and pack up this top shelf. <laughs> The next shelf on my bookshelf is another shelf of books, and this shelf actually houses my favorite authors for the most part. My favorite authors besides Amy Bartle are Becca Fitzpatrick, which is here, Claudia Gray, which is here, and then Amanda Hawking, which is all right here. So this one has the majority <laughs> of my favorites on it, and then in addition to that, I also have this doll that a fan of mine made. I had a short story that went on my blog, and this is a character from that short story, Zelina. She was the princess of the Lunar Kingdom. I liked to display that on my bookshelf. Yeah, it's gonna be hard seeing the shelf be packed up, but I mean, it has to be packed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack that one as well. So when I move into my apartment in about a week, I'm probably I'm going to rearrange my shelves differently than how you see them here. So if you do have any ideas of things that you think I should do, if you think I should try out the rainbow shelf, or if I should do it by color or by genre, if you have a way that you like to do your shelves that you think would look really cool, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear how you guys arrange all of your books, and I would love to try new ideas with my books to see what my books could look like if I were to arrange them differently. So the next shelf on my bookshelf is my Sailor Moon shelf. I did have other stuff on here, but I already packed it away. I have a Sailor Moon candle, which I displayed right here. Sailor Moon is a series that I really, really enjoy, so I wanted it to have its own sort of shelf. So I have the Sailor Moon mangas, and I got them in set, so they came with these decorative box pieces that held them, and that when you put them together, it makes a complete picture. So I wanted to display that as well as the book. So I always had that standing here, and then I of course have the mangas, and then I have this awesome Sailor Moon picture that my good friend Tia gave me that I really like to display on here as well. So my books and my bookshelves are really the last thing that I'm packing from my room. Most of the other things in my room are already packed up, but these were something that I really didn't want to see get put away yet, as I do use a lot of them for bookstagram photos, and I just really like seeing my books out. 
So this was a last, last step for me in the packing process. So the next shelf on my bookshelf are more books. This is my last bookshelf, the shelf with actual books on it. I obviously ran out of room on my other shelves for books, which is why I have to have some stacked. But these are just, you know, more books in alphabetical order. And then I have this cute little guy yeah, that I wanted to call machine. <laughs> shelf on shelf number one is my shelf of mangas and all of these are yaoi mangas because I'm a huge Joji. I love yaoi and one of my favorite yaoi series of all time is The World's Greatest First Love which is right here. I can't wait for volume 13. I need it. This series is so good and I just need to know what happens next. So along with these I have other yaoi mangas which I really don't want to see get boxed up because I really love love these a lot, but you know, I'll see them again. <laughs> top shelf on this one is again similar to Kami Kami Kiss. It's on the actual top of my bookshelf. I did have more up here, but I've already packed what else was up there. It was two BTS calendars, and BTS is a K-pop group, in case you didn't know. I really love them. Jungkook is my bias. Um, anyways, so this is Wolf Children, which is a manga, and it's also a movie by Mamoru Hosoda. It is so good, such a beautiful story, and I highly recommend both the movie and the manga if you haven't read or seen it already. Both are incredible in their own ways. So this next shelf is one of my favorite shelves because it houses my favorite yaoi mangas. The World's Greatest First Love, when I redo my shelves, will be going with these mangas because it is in my top favorite. But for right now, it's just the Crimson Spell, Tin Count, Junja Romantica, and the Viewfinder series. These are some of my favorite yaoi mangas that I own, and I really love all of them. I sometimes will We'll just sit here and look through them again because I love the stories, I love the artwork, and they're just really good. And I really don't want to put these in the box. I want to look at them forever. I do display covers of Crimson Spell and the Viewfinder series, both by Ayano Yamane. Those are two of my all time favorites. Ayano Yamane is a fantastic mangaka, so if you haven't read any of her stuff before and you don't mind a lot of uh, sexual content, go check it out because they're very, very good. So the next shelf on my bookshelf is my TBR shelf. It's my books that I still have to read. In addition to these books that are still on my to be read list, I also have this basket of other books that belong to that shelf as well, but obviously it's a bit full, so I had to put these somewhere else. I have a lot of books that I still have to read, as you can see, but I am very excited for a lot of them. shelf is my Black Butler shelf, which is probably one of my more favorite shelves on here. Black Butler is my favorite manga and my favorite anime. I love the series very much, and I have a very special which I really enjoy displaying on this shelf. And then I also have quite a few Black Butler jewelry pieces. If you've read the mangas or seen the anime, you may recognize some of these symbols and the blue color. So I'm gonna pack up these mangas and my Black Butler goodies. I had more on this shelf. I had a cup and two little stuffed Sebastian and CLs and a little change purse on here, but I've already packed those. So now I have to pack all of this stuff as well. shelf on my bookshelf are my other mangas and then some Japanese books. These mangas are all my mangas that aren't yaoi, so I don't have that many, as you can see, that aren't yaoi. The majority of these are shoujo mangas, and then this one in particular, The Water Dragon's Bride, is one that I just recently found and just recently read, and oh my god, it is now one of my favorite mangas ever. This series is incredible, and I haven't posted my September reads on Instagram yet, so I don't have everything actually on my shelves, 
but one of the things that will be going on this shelf will be the rest of the Water Dragon Bride series because I read all of these this month. I bought these in a day and I read them all within two days because these are so good. I cannot even stress how good these ended up being. I did not expect this when I bought this one on a whim. It's now one of my favorites. I beg you all to go read it. It's a very easy read and the art is incredible. So I highly recommend this series. It's one of my new favorites and it probably will stay that way for a very long time. So this last shelf are my English textbooks that I've collected. I really like old textbooks. So they're all my textbooks that I've found over time from used bookstores and some of my own. And then I also have classics on the other side. I don't have many classics because I don't enjoy them. <laughs> so those are all books that I had to read for school and that's pretty much all they are. So that's it for my bookshelf tour and me packing my books. I didn't realize how many boxes this was actually going to take. I didn't realize how much I actually had. So I still have to find something to put these two in, which I'm sure I'll find somewhere to put these. That is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you guys comment below ways that I can do my bookshelves when I move into my new apartment. I really want to know what you guys think would look good. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!